space, compassion meditation, the base of infinite consciousness, joy meditation, mudita, the base of nothingness, we call the equanimity, then after that, the base of neither perception nor non-perceptions, so that stage you will get a cessation. It's called niroda, we get a cessation. So one, when you get a one-time cessation, then you let it, you'll feel. We are going to talk about it actually here, step by step, but I am going to explain at once. So then you will see the feeling, perception, and consciousness stop, stop immediately, and then in your mind the huge joy rise that you never experienced in the human world. So that time you will attain the path of Istrimetra. So when you are continuously practicing, practicing, then one more cessation will occur. Then you will attain the fruition of Istrimetra. Okay? So the path of Istrimetra and then fruition of Istrimetra we call Sutapanna. One Sutapanna, okay? Once um, the Istrimetra. After that, then when you meditate, 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 you let in the path of once eternal. One more cessation will occur in your mind. And then when you meditate continuously, second cessation will occur again, then you let in the fruition of stream uh, once eternal. This is called Sakaragami. First Sudapanna, then Sakadagami. Stream mantra and once eternal. Then next will be the non-return. Anagami. The path of non-return, the fruition of non-return. And after that, the next will be the Arahant. The path of highest peace Arahant, the fruition of highest peace Arahant. We call Nibbana. Then you attain Nibbana. So when you attain stream mantra, I mean the highest beast, Araham means you attain Nibbana. So that means you completely destroy the greed, hatred and delusions. Okay? So now he's going to talk about the third jhana. So you get now two jhana, right? He said, again with the fading away of joy, among the words in equanimity, mindful and fully aware, is still feeling happiness with the body, he enters upon and avoided the third jhana on, on account of his noble words and nouns. So when you get in the third jhana, joy fade away. Joy will not arise anymore in your mind. So that moment only happiness and unification of mind, these two things will be present, five hindrances will be there absent, Five hindrances will not arise, then you attain the third jhana. Some people when they meditate, they think that joy, why not arising in my mind, in my chest, center of my chest? I want to get the joy, joy. <laughs> you know that, they, they complain a lot. When I was meditating one week, I got a joy is rising, he said, I feel so good. But now I am not feeling that. No need to complain. Because do you, are you, do you feel comfortable? Yes. And do you feel your whole body and mind right? Yes. So, and your mind is the in, unite, the unification of mind? Yes. So, you are in the third jhana. No hindrances. You are in the third jhana. This would already explain that. He has a place in abiding. Who has equanimity. You will get equanimity in your mind. And is mindful. He considers the, these and understand it thus. The third jhana. The third tranquility and inside jhana. You see tranquility and inside. 
So as I said at the beginning, when you are in the first jhana, tranquility in samatha and then inside vipassana is there. When you are in the second jhana, it is more than before. Tranquility, samatha and inside vipassana is more than first jhana, okay? More developed than first jhana. So when you are in the third jhana, that stage also you experience tranquility in samatha and vipassana inside is more developed than first and second jhana when you are in the third jhana. So he said but whatever is the third jhana, the third tranquility and insight stage of meditation is conditioned and intentionally produced. But whatever is conditioned and intentionally produced is impermanent and subject to cessation. Is it permanent? No. It rising and passing away. Rising and fade away. You know? If he is, if he is steady in that, he attained the distractions of the ten. You see, even in the third jhana, if you steady in that, you have potential to attain Nibbana, that is true. That's why he said here, if he is steady in that, he attained the distractions of the taints, means no greed, no hatred, no delusion there. That means you attain the highest being Nibbana. Right? But if he does not attain the distractions of the taint because of the desire for the Dhamma, that delight in the Dhamma, then with the distractions of five lower fetters, he becomes one due to reappear spontaneously in the pure abodes and there attain finally Bana without ever returning from the world. Same thing is repeated here. This too is one thing proclaimed by the Blessed One, one who knows and sees, accomplished and fully enlightened, and wherein if a man avoids diligent, ardent and resolute, his unliberated mind comes to be liberated, his undistraught things come to be distraught, and he attains the supreme security from bondage that he had not attained before. So this is the third jhana. Now he is talking about the fourth jhana. So how do you understand the fourth jhana? Again with the abandoning of pleasure and pain and with the previous disappearance of joy and grief, a monk enters upon a voice in the fourth jhana which has neither pain nor pleasure and beauty of mindfulness due to equanimity. You see, you'll have the very small, you know, very good mindfulness at that moment. You see, you feel the neutral. So he said that neither pain nor pleasure, purity of mindfulness, and you feel the equanimity in your mind at the equanimity and purity of the mindfulness. He considered this and understand this, understand it thus, that this fourth jhana, the fourth tranquility, samatha and insight, vipassana is conditioned and intentionally produced. But whatever, whatever is conditioned and intentionally produced is impermanent subject to cessation. If he is steady in that, he attained the distractions of the ten. Even in the fourth jhana, if you is steady in that, you have potential to attain Nibbana, destruction of the tens, highest peace. If he does not attain the distractions of the ten because of their desire for the Dhamma, their delight in the Dhamma, then with the destructions of the five lower fetters, he becomes one due to reappear spontaneously in the pure abodes and they attain final Nibbana without ever returning from that world. 
This two is one thing proclaimed by the blessed one who knows and sees. Accomplished and fully enlightened and wherein if a man works diligent, ardent and resolute. So what it is say here? You have to practice diligently, ardent, resolute. Okay? If you think that I am sleeping now and then whenever I want I meditate. So that way it will not come. So every day schedule you have to practice. Okay? If you practice that way, you may get something. So whatever you are practicing now, are you better than before? Before coming here? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So you experience yourself, right? You experience yourself. So meditation is something you experience yourself. You cannot borrow from something, you know. I cannot give you. Okay, I have the power and I have something special, I give you. Then you say, okay, thank you. I got your blessing and I'm leaving now. This is not like that. So meditation is something you keep the precept and you according to instructions you practice here and you get a result here immediately. This is the teaching of the Buddha. That's why he said, come and see. And after seeing, please try to understand. When you understand is practicing. After practicing, if you Understand that if you think that this is really practical truth that I am experiencing right now, then continue. And if you think that this meditation doesn't work for me, it's not helpful, you can leave freedom. But a lot of people are getting benefit, you know. That's why, as I said, I think first day, the mighty share he accepted these meditations. Because, because of this great advice of the Blessed One. Come and see. So now, when you attend the fourth jhana, then you will see, in the center of you says, the feeling is not here anymore. That's why people complain. Why I am not feeling, that my feeling is not here. The center of my chest. But that moment, if you think very carefully, in the whole body and mind, you will see that you are feeling the top of your head. From here you are feeling it go to the top of your head. So that means that moment you will experience the purity of mindfulness and equanimity. And then you also experience that neither painful nor pleasure. Okay? So here, the one thing is explained, the blessed one here, neither painful nor pleasure, you feel neutral, equanimity. Then you feel it go to the top of your head. Then, that moment, your, your mind, unification of mind, in a one point, then you attain the fourth jhana. So when you attend the fourth jhana, then, you know, you have to come to me, then I'll change your meditation. You cannot practice anymore to yourself and to your spiritual friend. You have to change. You understand? Right? So now he's going to talk about the sixth direction. So when you attain the fourth jhana, that means you are advanced meditator. When you advance meditate at that moment, I will change your meditation the sixth direction. The forward five minutes. So, your feeling is the top of your head. Don't press down because when you press down, push, you know, press down, you may get a painful feeling rise in your mind. But this is the good sign, don't do that. Just let it be. And then when I change, when I teach you the, to practice the sixth direction. So from the from from here, may all living beings be happy, peaceful, 
free from suffering, free from danger, free from difficulty. Then your addition go forward five minutes. Okay? And from the back, backward, from your addition from here to the back side, five minutes. From left side, from here, five minutes. And right side, from here, to look at the right, right side, five minutes. From the top of your head, to look at the top, you radiate radiation from here to top, up, five minutes. And from here, to go down, five minutes. And that's six direction. So as I said, this is the candle. When you light the candle, this candle give the light all direction, right? Yes or no? All direction. So exactly the same, you try to visualize your candle in front of you and then irradiations spread all directions. Then you see, when your mindfulness is very clear and then you will experience the expansion will occur from, from your head. You see, the expansion will occur everywhere, six directions. You experience that. So now he's talking about here, again among a verse, the probability one quarter, so one quarter means the first direction, the forward, okay? With a mind imbued with loving kindness, likewise the second, second means the back side, and the likewise the third, left side, and likewise the fourth, right side. Five minutes, okay? So above, below, around, and everywhere, and to all as to himself, he awards of perverting the all-encompassing world with a mind imbued loving kindness, abundant, exalted, immeasurable, without hostility and without ill will. This is talking about attaining the fourth tranquility and insight. Commonly, the call this is called a beautiful abiding. Actually, beautiful abiding. So that is strange. It's called beautiful abiding when you read the fourth journal. So he consider this and understand it thus this deliverance of mind through loving kindness is conditioned and intentionally produced. But whatever is conditioned and intentionally produced is impermanent, subject to cessation. If he is steady in that, he attains the distractions of the things. Even that is strange when you practice the six direction meditation forward five minutes, backward five minutes, left side five minutes, right side five minutes, above five minutes, below five minutes, and at all directions. So if you are steady in that, you have potential to attain it. All right. So, when you when you meditate at the beginning, loving kindness. So through the loving kindness, you attain the first jhana, and second jhana, and third jhana, and fourth jhana. Right. And after that, when you practice the when you the fourth jhana, then you can radiate loving kindness to your family members. To your dad, to your mom, to your sister, to your brother, to your relatives, one by one, you can radiate loving kindness because that moment you are the advanced meditator. Okay? But when you are the beginner, as I said, no, not any family members. Why is that? Because of attachment. So we have a lot of attachments about our family members, right? So that's why at the beginning, please don't radiate loving kindness to your family members. But when you attain the fourth jhana, that time you can ready, no problem. And then when you do the six direction meditations, because that that time you are advanced meditator, and then you see your meditation will change from loving kindness to the compassion. So this one they are talking about here. So he said, but if he does not attain the destruction of the ten because of that desire for the Dhamma and that they delight in the Dhamma, then with the distractions of the five lower fairness, he becomes one due to reappear spontaneously in the pure abodes and there attain the final Nibbana without ever returning from that world. 
This too, one thing proclaimed by the Blessed One who knows and sees, accomplished and fully enlightened, wherein if a man abides diligent, ardent, and resolute, his unlimited mind comes to be liberated, his undisturbed things come to be destroyed, and he attains the supreme security from bondage that he had not attained before. So, he's talking about loving kindness, the sixth direction. Now, he's going to explain, as I said, when you practice the sixth direction meditations and all direction, it's still loving kindness. From that loving kindness, your meditation will change to the compassion. So, how will it change? So, he's, if you know how to practice the sixth direction, you know, loving kindness, then compassion meditation very easy. So you may ask Bhante, what is the difference between loving kindness and compassion? How will I understand? I am going to explain here. Again, a man abides perpetrating one quarter. So one quarter means what? One quarter means what? Speak up. Mm. Forward, exactly. Forward. One quarter means forward. From here, irradiations. Go forward, five minutes. And then, with a mind imbued in love and compassion, you see, your meditation change from loving kindness to the compassion. Likewise the second, likewise the third, likewise the fourth. So above, below, around, and everywhere, and to all as to himself, and he words perverting, the all compassioning, encompassing the world with a mind imbued in compassion, Abandoned, exalted, immeasurable, without hostility, without ill will. This is, you know, he's talking about the realm of infinite space. So when you meditate, when you attain the base of infinite space, that stage your meditation will change from loving kindness to the compassion. So how do you know that? You feel. No body. Did you say this morning? Do you remember? You feel no body at all. Only mind. Only mind. Then you feel like you are in the ocean. You are like in the sky. <laughs> so I wake up and then, hey, where is he? I mean, in the sky. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> okay. So no body. Whole body disappeared. So that's why, you know, one day when I was, a uh, long time ago, six years ago, when I was living in, in Bronze, one, one Cambodian temple, one guy came, he said, hey, I want to meditate, I want to meditate. Okay, please come. Then I taught him how to practice meditation. But in his life, he never closed his eyes, you know, I meditate. He said, I told him, did you meditate before? He said, I practice the yoga, yoga meditation. Okay, that's fine. So, but here, I teach you loving kindness meditation. You have to close your eyes, and then you have to follow my instructions. Or I am giving you. He said, okay, that's fine. And he closed his eye. Even five minutes not finished. And he said, oh my God, I want. I didn't want to. I didn't want to practice anymore. What happened? What happened? I don't want to lose my my whole body. <laughs> his body is very big, you know. <laughs> He's scared to lose his body, but his body is there. But he feels that there is no body. Even five minutes not finish. So great worry, your body will be here. But in this Sutta Buddha mentioned that when you Attain the base of infinite space, that is strange, no beautiful body, <laughs> only mind, no handsome body there. You never feel that. When you meditate, meditate, one hour, two hours, you'll say, wow, no body here. You feel so light, you know, so light and comfortable. Only mind, you are like on the ocean, the sky, you experience that. And you also feel that 
your mind is more soft like cotton some meditator when they practice one and two hours you know tears falling down from the eyes you know this is the experience of the compassion got it right so here he said if um, he considered this and understand it does the deliverance of mind through compassion is conditions and intentionally produced but whatever is a conditioned and intentionally produced is the impermanent subject to cessation if he study in that he attains the destructions of the ten even though in the the, the base of infinite space compassion meditations if you attain that even that stage you have potential to attain highest peace nibbana the distractions of the things if he if he is steady in that you have potential but if he does not attain the distractions of the ten because of the desire from the dhamma that delight in the dhamma then with the distractions of the five lower fears he becomes one due to reappear spontaneously in their pure abodes and they are attained the final nibbana what um, without ever returning from that world this too is one the proclaimed by the blessed one who knows and sees a complete and fully enlightened wherein if a mind abides diligent ardent and resolute his unliberated mind comes to be liberated his undistracted tense comes to be distracted and he attains the supreme security from bondage that he had not attained before okay so now you are the stage of infinite space compassion meditation right so that is stage how do you meditate again the six direction your compassion is forward 5 minutes backward 5 minutes left side 5 minutes right side 5 minutes above 5 minutes below 5 minutes and in all directions compassion meditation so when you do that then here is talking about among the words for par- barbaric one quarter with a mind in brutal joy so that is stage the base of infinite consciousness okay that is stage you meditation change from compassion to the joy 